It is written, many are called, but few are chosen. I like to think of it a little differently. Many are called, but few choose. I've been chosen to lead the North Pole Inner Earth Expedition. My name is Brooks Agnew, and I choose to start here. Mount Shasta, at 9,000 feet, shrouded in the mists of mystery to begin what may be the greatest geological expedition in the history of the world to discover if the earth is hollow or not. Join us. You may ask, who am I that I should lead this most intrepid group of people on this expedition? Well, I have been privileged with the highest callings there are, that of teacher, scientist, engineer, talk show host of X Squared Radio, but most of all, I am an Earth Explorer. My family came to Scotland from ancient lands in the 13th century and founded Stranraer and the lands called Galloway. They built this magnificent castle overlooking Loch Na, high in the hills above the western coast. The Agnew clan served as magistrates over land transfers. In the early 15th century, the Ross clan sold attractive land to the Sinclairs from France. The chapel at Rosslyn is one of the most famous centers of holy power on earth. It is believed that the Ark of the Covenant once was housed here. A most remarkable history is preserved behind these doors. The Agnews were the hereditary sheriffs of Galloway. Knights of Christ who protected Roslyn Chapel from plunder for over 350 years. The symbols are cross-fertilized between Agnew Castle and Roslyn Chapel. The Scottish Cross, the Templars Square, and the Flowers of Life adorn both buildings. The Agnew Ross bloodline is preserved through one living heir, yours truly. Why hollow earth theory? One of the earliest theories proposed was in 1692 by Edmund Halley. Edmund Halley was a brilliant English astronomer whose mathematical calculations pinpointed the return of the comet that bears his name. Halley was fascinated by the earth's magnetic field. Halley came to believe that the earth was hollow and within it was a second sphere with another field. Halley also suggested that the interior of the Earth was populated with life and lit by a luminous atmosphere. He thought the aurora borealis, or northern lights, were caused by the escape of this gas through a thin crust at the poles. In 1846, the discovery of an extinct woolly mammoth frozen in ice in Siberia was used by Marshall Gardner as evidence of a hollow Earth. Gardner subscribed to the single sun inside the earth theory and suggested that the mammoth was so well preserved because it had died recently. Gardner thought that mammoths and other extinct creatures wandered freely in the interior of the earth. This one had wandered outside by using the hole at the North Pole, then was frozen and carried to Siberia on an ice floe. As time has gone on, the idea of a hollow earth has become less a theory of fringe science and more a subject of science fiction and fantasy. It seems the more science discovers about the structure of the earth, the more popular the theory seems to become. Evidence that seems to allow the possibility is routinely thrown out by scientists. 
United States Navy Admiral Richard Byrd flew across the North Pole in 1926 and the South Pole in 1929 and reportedly told of his observation that lush green forests, mammoths, and flowing water appeared below his aircraft where none should have been. Over the years, we've collected space data using satellite photography, using orbiting experiments. We've also collected Earth-based data by examining evidence on the ice, evidence in the sky, evidence in the sea, evidence from earthquakes, and finally, from human consciousness itself. This is where the mystique begins, Tibetan Buddhism, where the first real expressions of the inner earth in religion begin. Tibetan Buddhism was created by King Tsang Chang Gampo in the 7th century. The king had conquered nine empires, including China. Instead of imposing Tibet upon them, he took the hands in marriage of nine princesses. Part of the terms of this marriage was that they each had to bring part of their native culture. Tibetan Buddhism was founded. The North Pole Inner Earth Expedition has brought us here to Tibet, high above the city of Lhasa, almost 14,000 feet. Behind me is the symbol of Tibetan Buddhism. At the core of their belief is this symbol. In the center you'll see the yin and yang. From that you'll see rays of light coming out to an outer ring. That ring is full of foliage. This is also recognized around the world as a universal symbol of an inner earth. When Buddhism was introduced in this form, using the inner earth symbolism, the animals came to sit in peace and listen. Often, deer or peacocks are used to depict nature's endorsement of this union of dimensions as the story of life and creation. These symbols exist in every ancient culture, but nowhere are they in more pure form than in Tibet. The use of circular mandalas is prolific. The expression of life energy and vibrant harmonies promotes deep feelings in nearly everyone who sees them. The relationship of man to the earth and the recognition of cyclic energy from within the earth is openly expressed children and adults alike express a sort of remembrance and ancient passion when they see these mandalas. It's as if something about them reminds us of home. We're standing inside a mandala with 108 sacred rooms, ornately painted but built several hundred feet high on top of an iron mountain in the foothills of the Himalayas, over 14,000 feet up. This is where the mandalas came from. The Nuaras that built this building, built it by design. It is said that if one meditates through all 108 rooms of this mandala building, you will reach enlightenment. The power here is unbelievable. Like the empires of the Nile, the transporting of the human soul from this world to the worlds of higher dimensions was paramount. The construction of highly complex and specialized structures for Tibetan burials of Panchen Lamas and Dalai Lamas or holy reincarnated leaders was facilitated by the stupa. This structure is over 60 feet tall 
and uses more than 4,300 pounds of gold and 10,000 jewels. There is no 